quick. Uh, thank everyone for being here. Thanks, Yuni, for the date. Uh, cool. Uh, so first up, we have Alan Shaw presenting on Remote Pinning Service API on NFT.storage. So Alan, you're up. OK, uh, let me share the screen. Uh, OK. Um, Beautiful. All right. Do you see a screen? A beautiful screen thing. I okay. Can... This, all right. Um, so this is about the pinning service API and uh, NFT.storage. NFT.storage is a thing that happened for NFT hack. Uh, and um, just after the hack, uh, we uh, we shipped this just this week. Uh, the uh, we've implemented the uh, IPFS pinning service API. If you don't know what that is, that's a it's a way. It's this thing that I've got up on my screen at the moment. It's a way of getting your IPFS to uh, talk to remote pinning services like like Pinata, for example. Um, and then you and what's great about it is it's, it's a standard uh, API that you can kind of you can switch out your storage providers whenever you want. Uh, provided that they adhere to this because they all they should all be speaking the same sort of language. Um, so on NF nft.storage, um, if you scroll down the site a little bit, you can it tells you about like ways in which you can um, you can kind of store data on nft.storage. You can use the client library, raw HTTP request. But if you notice over here, we've got this little red box which says configure as a remote pinning service. And this is what I'm going to demo you uh, to uh, for now. What I'm going to do first is turn on do not disturb so I don't get any more messages. Um, and there we go. So I'm going to copy this. This is what you what you possibly do if you were to uh, do this yourself. Over here, I've got my IPFS node running. Um, and what I'm going to do is uh, just paste in this thing. And you see at the end, it's got this your API key thing here. So I need to delete that and I need to head over back over to nft.storage. I'm already logged in. So I'm just going to have a look at manage API keys here. Got no keys, create a new key. I'm going to call this um, remote pin which I did already because I practiced this. Uh, and uh, so the key uh, the key has been created for me there. I'm just going to grab hold of that. And then I can go back over here uh, and paste it in. And so now I should have my uh, remote pinning service uh, uh, well configured in IPFS. So I should be able to do IPFS uh, uh, pin, sorry, pin remote. Um, service ls and it tells me that it's installed that's great um so that's fun but uh let's 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 use it um cool so um this is my this is my gif folder this is where i i uh i keep all of my favorite um uh images from the internet <laughs> Uh, the ones that are notable that um that I'd, I'd want to kind of download and keep um forever Anyway, so this is this is a nice one. This uh, pug riding a, a yellow tricycle, uh, bicycle. I mean, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add that to IPFS. So IPFS add, and then it's like B something like that. There we go. So here he is. He's in. Um, let's just clear this out. Uh, and so what I can do now is I can tell uh, this pug to be pinned to uh, nft.storage. Um, so using uh, the command IPFS uh, pin remote uh, add, and then I specify that guy. I specify uh, the service, which is called nft.storage. Uh, and then if, if all goes to plan, this should get pinned on nft.storage. So let's have a quick, let's wait. My internet has been flaky recently, so I'll be surprised if this works. Hooray, there it is. Okay, perfectly. That's 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 great. It so apparently it's been pinned. Um, so I can do I should be able to do IPFS pin remote uh LS service. Oh roll service nft dot storage. Whoop. There it is. There we go. So it tells me that it is pinned. Um, and then I should be able to head back over to nft.storage, look at my files here. Uh, and uh, this, uh, so this CID, let's just double check that that is the CID. Yeah, so uh, QMTTI1. Um, so that's the CID of the, um, 
hang on, CID of the, the uh, thing that I uploaded. If I click on it, then it should load it up on the gateway. Uh, it works, hooray. Um, and I think uh, that what I, can, what I can show you actually is um, I can do IPFS pin um, remote RM CID. Weirdly, I have to pass a CID flag for removing, but for other for adding, I don't. Uh, service oh, d.storage, I can remove it as well. I can unpin it. Uh, there we go. So I can remove it. Very, that's good. I guess it's gone. Let's have a quick look. LS, is there anything here? Nope. So nothing there. And if I go back to um, nft.storage, if I look at my files, it should disappear. Okay, perfect. All right, that's it. It, uh, the remote pinning service, uh, you can use it with nft.storage now. Hooray, that's my demo. Cool, very cool.